Hi, I'm Alex Lamb and you're watching the fourth, yes, even the fourth of my exciting group selection videos. My goodness, congratulations for sticking it out. Anyway, here we go. Last time we, short, we showed the simulation running in action. This time I promised you I would take you through the results. We would actually try to discover the truth from the simulation we built. Find out what was really happening. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the results. So what happened in our sim? If you remember from last time, we saw a whole bunch of disks go white which meant there was a whole bunch of cooperators in our population and very few defectors. You have to really kind of poke around in there to see any kind of pink um, in that population. So kind of looks like the group selection principle is right. But is it? Why do we think it's not kin selection happening? Well, because if you remember, there were a whole bunch of different family lineages in our 1980 style DNA display that were all going on at the same time. One mutation wasn't dominating, ladies and gents. Change was happening in parallel. And how did that even happen? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Also, note that non-relatives were cooperating in our simulation. Now, here's a thing I didn't show you, but I did afterwards, which is I took the number of people who were eloping from one tribe to the next, because remember, we had, we had a setting for that. We saw that in, in episode number two. We had the number of people who were like, I love you, person from Blue Tribe, and were running off. And we sort of like, what happens if we crank that number up? So you remember, tribes have about 100 people in them. Um, so we've taken it from five people eloping per year to 85 people eloping per year, which is like a whole bunch of people really deciding on a major lifestyle change at a very radical level of frequency. But nevertheless, look, we have a whole bunch of non-relatives cooperating with each other in the simulation. Crazy land. And also what we found is that long years don't matter. That's another thing I haven't shown you till now. We can do a thing where we make the year last a really long time. We can lock agents together in their tribe so that they're basically trapped in one group with a whole bunch of schmucks who eat other people's pie without ever lending them so much as a screwdriver. And yet it doesn't seem to change the overall dynamics of the simulation. So on this side, we've got a thousand kind of key events per year. And over here, we've got 4,000 events per year. And you'll see that it takes longer for the cooperators to dominate, as you might imagine, because there's a whole bunch of people getting seriously peeved in that simulation. But yet the overall pattern remains exactly the same. So that would seem to clinch it, ladies and gents, but does it? We don't know. Is our simulation broken? Are we proving what we think we're proving? How could we possibly tell? How do we know that we've got something that actually is doing any kind of a thing that we might actually want to know about? Well, if our simulation was broken, we might expect to see cooperators doing better than defectors, but we don't see that. The only time that we see something on this side of the line is when the entire tribe is dying out because we're just going to completely sickly land or when which is basically what happens when this sort of yeah anyway you get the idea everyone's on the north side of the line pretty much unless death okay if we saw that tribes were splitting so fast that they actually if people were outliving their tribes then then that would show that our simulation was busted. And the reason why we're looking at this is there are some scientists who've said that this is the only time that they think that group selection could possibly work. But in our simulation, tribes are lasting a lot longer than people. So that's interesting too. So did we nail it? What have I told you, ladies and gents? We still don't know. Because we need to find out whether or not there's anything dodgy about our results. Do we always get something that looks like group simulation? Well, if that was true, I wouldn't be able to do this. I've changed the numbers, ladies and gents. Let's look at what happens now. Okay, we've got dots, we've got lines, we've got people. Oh my God, look at that. Everyone seems to be dying. Oh, we got the dots, people are just up. Oh, the defectors are kicking ass. Everything's going with people wandering around like crazy people down here. And look, death, death everywhere, death. What's happening, ladies and gents? Could it be that there are situations in which the group selection effect is not happening? Do we really know what's going on? Look, every single one of these tribes, even these stragglers who are really trying hard, they're all just going to defect to land. Even, even those ones that are just handing out so much pie. Um, tune in next time, ladies and gentlemen, because what we have to do with our results is not just look at the things we like, but the sinister things that are also actually true. 
So, next time, ladies and gents, group selection results, the return, the sinister bit. Okay, I need to press the off button.